Hey, what's going on you guys? I wanted to go live today because I just got a video testimonial from a friend of mine and his name is Tyler. He works for a church down in Arizona called Trinity Church. He's actually the video director down there and I thought it'd be cool for you to hear his testimonial. But before I do, I thought I'd give you kind of the backstory of why you might be watching this in the first place, right? So uh, Tyler works for his church and he reached out to me. This would have been before November. Uh, because it was right before the holiday season rolled out. Uh, he wanted to be able to take some time off with his wife because as you can imagine, when you work for a church, you're always working like Saturdays and Sundays getting ready for your church service on Sunday, right? And so uh, anyway, he was like, man, I want to be able to have some time off. And I said, hey, I've been working on this software called Live Pigeon. And in fact, this might be able to free you up uh, from doing what, what it is that you're doing. And so anyway, he said, tell you what, I will sign up for your software and I will test it out. And that's what he did. And he just shared this video testimonial with me. And I thought I'd share that with you right now. Uh, so you can hear in his own words, how they've been able to use live video uh, to basically grow their congregation. And it's really cool to hear in his words, and I wanted to show that to you right now. We had a couple hundred people to start with. Um, we're now a thousand people strong every single week. And the live stream has been a crucial piece of marketing tool for us. It's been a crucial piece of getting more people to our church. It's been really the growth mechanism of our church. If we didn't have the live stream, we just we wouldn't have much influence anywhere. And, and the more people that, the more frequent you do that, you're, you're getting more people that are inviting their friends. Um, if they miss a Sunday, they can keep attending. A lot of people don't attend church every single week. And live stream is that mechanism that can keep kind of that, you know, I think it's something like two, two weeks out of the four of a month, people are actually attending your church. So with this, they can see all four, you know, and, and you're still giving them the content. They don't feel like they missed something necessarily. Um, and it just gives a lot more flexibility. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're sort of just, you know, if let's say you're in a media series where we're like, we're in the book of Daniel right now. Um, and every single week we're going through a different chapter. You know, if I, if I missed two weeks out of that, you know, I just missed it. <laughs> you know, I could go back and maybe watch it online later, but the live stream is just really, it's saying, hey, you know what, you missed this. Oh, you know, I can watch this now, today. So it's its really just the best thing for our church and how we can grow. Our, our typical week looks like, you know, we start the kind of week on our Sunday. Uh, we got two services, nine and 11. I, I live stream live live on both of those services. I will take that recording later in the week and I, I can actually, um, edit it. We can take that now and push it on a Monday at six o'clock at night. And then people are getting off work. They can go home and hang out with their family, watch the message. Maybe they missed it. Um, maybe they were volunteering all Sunday and they missed it. Now they can go home and watch it, you know, and I can, I'm re-reminding them through the live stream, through the notifications that are hitting their phone. It's coming up at the top of their feed. Uh, and it's, you know, it's good for them to watch and it's, it's just it's as easy as what you missed. You know, churches should be using live, as much live content as they can. It's a better format, it's it's quicker. You can get on there and respond to people. It's, it's a lot better than just posting a video and then it sort of gets forgotten. Finding something like Live Pigeon has really just been a crucial thing for us and also has just allowed us to have more flexibility where my pastor can have a week off. He can come in on a Wednesday, record. I can play that back as a Sunday, uh, rebroadcast. Um, I can now have a weekend off. <laughs> Whereas just before, it it just it it locks us in, and I got to be here every single Sunday. I can't miss it. Otherwise, people can't get their Bible teaching. It. And to us, that's a really high value. You can even shoot something on your iPhone and post it. And now, you, now you, you've just brought your church to a whole other level that it wasn't at before. And and just given the people in your church a lot more flexibility to attend your church. I can do a whole week's worth of work pre-scheduled out in one sitting. I can I can capture it, edit it, upload it to Live Pigeon, and it just, my whole week is now freed up and it will just deliver itself. I don't even have to worry about anything. You know, Live Pigeon just does the rest. Live Pigeon's just been so great to work with. Um, they're, they're listening and their support is getting back to me. In fact, I saw an opportunity 
to um, even do a rebroadcast with media that I've already uploaded. And now that's a new feature already, already implemented. I can do that now. So it's just been great. Um, and the product's just getting better over time. So that was Tyler's story, and I'm so glad that he sent that to me, and how cool is it that I'm able to share that with you. So what I wanted to do next is transition and show you a demo of how to use Live Pigeon, and I want you to be able to take advantage of doing these Facebook Lives and how you can use a tool like this to help grow your church. So check this out. So this is how Live Pigeon looks when you first log in. Now I need to connect my Facebook account, so I'm going to go ahead and click Sign In with Facebook. Now that my Facebook account is connected to Live Pigeon, I'm going to go ahead and click on Schedule a Pre-Recorded Video. Now I'm just going to pick my time. So we're going to go live on Monday. I want to go live at 9 a.m. Great. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. All I have to do here is fill out my title and my description, and then I'm going to click Next. If I click here, it'll ask me, you know, where would I like to go live? And I'm going to go live to my page. I'm going to click Next. I'm then going to choose a file. And I have my church service here. So I'm going to click Open. So now the video is uploading. And depending on how long your service was or the file size, this might take some time. But once the video is uploaded, then Live Pigeon will start processing it. Now processing, what it does is it's basically optimizing it for Facebook. Success! Your pigeon has been scheduled successfully. Are you seeing the power of this tool? All I did is I picked my time that I wanted to go live. I filled out my title, my description, I uploaded my video file, and now Live Pigeon is going to take care of the rest. Oh, it's so amazing. The fact that this is going to save you so much time, and I cannot wait for you to get started. So what I wanted to do next is I wanted to invite you to sign up to Live Pigeon. Try it out for 14 days for free on us. See if it's going to be a good fit for you and your church, and I cannot wait for you to get started.